What's up guys? This is DS here or Dindo. Si Kuya Dindo to. O oh, ano ha? Kala nyo, di ako marunong magtagalog ha? Kala nyo ha? Si Dindo ni. Oh. So today is gonna be a different uh, episode. No? Tagalog, Bisaya, English. That's what we're gonna do. Okay? So uh, what's the subject for this vlog? Today we're gonna be talking about Cassette tapes. Do you know what cassette tape is, millennials? Google that. Okay, so actually, we're gonna be talking about different a uh, music pl uh, format. So I'm gonna bore you guys first with my script. So looking back, I know you mga iba ibang music platforms. So it first started with vinyl records back in the 1900s you know it was popularized back in 1930s and it, the vinyl records you know they came in uh, three different sizes 7 10 and 12 inches next are the cassette tapes right here okay i'm gonna show you guys what i have to what what uh what the artist one more artist na meron ako sa cassette tapes collection ko so the cassette tapes they started around 1970s, no, with the eight track. You mga malalaking you know, cassette tapes, yung eight eight track. They only have eight track, and then there are also I don't know if the I've never seen a cassette player na eight track. You know, alam ko malalaki yung cassette na yon, yung eight track, and if I'm not mistaken, they call it eight track because eight lang yung tracks. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. Research it. Google it. Okay, so, so not known back in the the a track, naging smaller yung yung cassette tapes. You know, they get, became smaller. Uh, this this size right here. Yeah, no. Look at this, millennials. That's what a cassette is. Okay, cassette. They go in the cassette player, and they have film inside. Okay, they have two sides, side one and side two, okay, or side A, side B. We'll get into that later. Okay, so continuing on the different music formats, yun nga, no, cassette players, uh, naging malit yung ano, cassettes, and then, <clears throat> ano pala, yung back in the day, uh, pag... You have one, yung cassette player, yung boombox. You guys know what a boombox is? Hi, millennials. This is what a boombox is. And I'm pretty sure that you guys, your sister or auntie or uncle has something like this lying around in their room or you see this in a garage sale, no? Oh yeah, this is, is that two? This is a cassette player and a CD player. On the top, press that and then that's where you put the CD. Even the CDs now, you know, that's, those are foreign to a lot of kids. Because hey, everything is app. You know, Spotify. And we'll get into that later. Uh, tapos ito. Itong, this part right here, yung cassette. Sino pa nakalala ng cassette, na, cassette player? You guys know how to use this? So you press this right here, this button. Yan. Yan. Bubukas yan. Tapos, papasok mo yung tape. You know, dalagay mo yung tape yan. Tapos, like that. So, the side that you're playing, film right here, make sure it's all rewind. Or you can rewind it. Pasok mo yan. Close. So, ayun na natin. Okay, click that. Lo, tina natin. Bagal ano? Takes a while. Okay, so while we're waiting, let's continue on. Yeah, tumutunog na. 
I got total, total by the way. Okay, stop ko na. Dahil mga copyright tayo yan eh. Okay, so, yun, cassettes. Uh, that's a relic nowadays. So, ito yung isa pang memory. Do you know how to rewind with the pencil? Oh, uh, yan. Yan o. Tapos, i-spin mo pang gano'n, no? To rewind. Yung pag-isa lang yung, ano, ah, uh, isa lang yung cassette player mo tapos yung mga kabarkada mo maraming mga mixtape or ibang tape no tapos syempre habang nire-rewind mo yung ano para yung you get to the track that you want okay so let's continue so nga ah, also yung isa pa yung sa memory yung dati ko yung mixtape yung sa radyo Doon tumutunog yung mga favorite song mo. Tapos, repress mo yung record. Yun. Tandaan nyo yun. Uh, hindi nyo alam yun, ano. Mga millennial kayo, eh. Uh, so, yun. So, that's that's what we used to do when there's a, our favorite song comes out in the radio. We You hit the record. We used the blank uh, cassette tape and we hit the record. And, yeah, you know, that's our mixtape right there. That's what they call mixtape. Okay. So after the cassette, you know, that was popularized in 1970s. Ang um, sumunod no, yung CDs, you know, the CDs. We'll get into that. Or the compact disc. Yeah, it was introduced in 1985 and on 1988, the CD sales eclipsed over the vinyl in 1991. CDs uh, took over the cassettes. You know, they started to the they started to not obsolete, but face out the cassette tapes. You know, and when I first when I when I was here in the U.S., I I got here in the U.S. and I had all these cassette tapes, and then uh, you know, my music stores and uh, they still Fye, they still carried you know cassette tapes for. A certain period of time. I can't remember when they stopped selling those. I think it was around 2004 or 2005. And then they eventually face out the cassette tapes. And CDs were the boom, you know. And then... You know, uh, you know the back in the 80s and 90s, you know, popularity ng, ng cassette, uh, cassette tapes. You know, they had those boom box, you know, when... They do all this b-boy dancing and all that. Chaka, and I remember sa Pilipinas, uh, when uh, not besides recording your songs over the radio, uh, we also do uh, like acoustic recording. You know, with acoustic guitar, and there's this boom boxes. Yung mga cassette player na mayroon silang uh, recording mic, mayroon silang mic. So when you press record. And you you sing you know you sing a song while playing on your guitar. It's kind of like a mini sound recording studio, you know. Yeah, it's pretty neat. <laughs> a lot of a lot of you guys don't know that. So there you go. There's a new you know something new that you learn. And sadly, a lot of those cassette players are phased out. Um, those are antiques now. You can't find them. It's rare. They're very rare. And when you do find them, some of them don't work. Uh, unless you know you got some people that collect them and they uh, uh, collectors and they keep them in a pristine condition uh, okay so yeah cassette tapes vinyl records cassette tapes CDs so what came after that you know uh, looking at my notes digital download Napster you remember Napster at saka LimeWire. Oh my God, Napster, you know. Metallica and Napster. Lars Ulrich. Oh my God, I don't want to get into that. Uh, anyways, uh, yeah, Napster uh, and LimeWire. I remember downloading songs. And you got to be careful when you download songs because it could be a virus, you know. Virus pala yung na-download mo, no? Hindi pala yung song. 
So yun, you know, with Napster and LimeWire, I remember it kind of birthed, you know, yung when the Apple iPad was invented, it birthed the iTunes. And, you know, I remember buying songs like for a buck 29 each, or it was lesser than that. But when it, the song was popular, it was more expensive, like one twenty nine, a dollar forty nine, and the album was like when you it's kind of like you're para kang bumibili ka ng CD, no? Yung isang buong album, yun. So ngayon, uh, ibang iba na yung platform na music streams. So you got the iTunes being streams. Meron na yung Amazon uh, Music uh, MP threes. Uh, Apple iTunes, uh, Spotify, Pandora, T uh, Tidal, SoundCloud, Deezer, TikTok, YouTube, you know, all that. You know, Kayo, let's, uh, let's go, you know, post your comments below. What's your favorite music platform from way back until now? You know, I like, I like cassettes, even though they're so, uh, tedious you have to rewind and stop rewind stop just to get to the track that you want and what else uh you know cds i like cds and i like to get my hands on some uh vinyls kasi yung vinyls maganda yung sound quality niya lalo na yung uh yung classic na speaker na i can't remember tubular or something like that There is a direction name on the video now when I edit. I'm not really good at editing, anyways. So, yeah, those are the different music platforms. So, let's how many minutes is it? 12 minutes. So, let's go over my cassette collection. Why don't we, huh? So, yeah, first I got Toto, I have U2, uh, the best of U2. You guys remember that? Vertical Horizon. Tupac. There's two of them. Bone Tugs, Greatest Hits. There's two of them too. Ano pa meron ako dito? DMX. <coughs> Nelly. Oh, yan no, si Nelly. Notorious B.I.G. Dalawang tape din yun. Ano pa bang mayroon ako dyan? Spin Doctors. Ito mga bargain ko na mga B albums ng Spin Doctors. Hindi wala ito yung Two Princes eh. Yung sikat na lang kanta. Semi-Sonic. Tandaan nyo pa yung Semi-Sonic. Closing Time. Noong year ba to? Silver Chair. Shades Apart, Sarah McLellan, Sixpence None The Richer, Kiss Me, Kiss Me. Yan. Wala ako masyado maganda dito. MXPX, Punk Rock. Ito, favorite ko to. Matchbox 20. Yan, first album nila. Ito, New Radicals. Tandaan nyo pa yun. You get the music disease daw. Oasis, yan. Favorite ko, Oasis. What's the story, Morning Glory album. Tsaka yung Be Here Now, Oasis din. Oh. Yan. <coughs> Phil Collins. <laughs> R.E.M. Dami pa. Bilis-bilisan natin. Pag nabagalan kayo, ino nyo yung speed ng, ano, ng video. Fast nyo ng video. Hawakan ko lang ganito. Oh, 1977, Borlap to Kashmir, Bare Naked Ladies, Dishwala, Duncan Sheik, Duncan Sheik, DC Talk. Yan, bispilisan natin para may clean lang yung video. Ano pa? pa? DC Talk, Edwin McCain, Foo Fighters, Fuel Lipo Lipi, Google Dance, Gene Blossoms. <coughs> Lapit na tayo. Konti na lang. Tonic. 
Toad the wet sprocket. Tandaan nyo pa yun. Toad the wet sprocket. Third day. Third eye blind. Yan. College time yan. Third eye blind. Ano ba yung kanta na yan? What song was that? Uh, semi charm kind of life. College memories yun na. Okay. What else? R.E.M. Sugar Ray. Sting and the Police, Santana, Small Town Poets, Sonic Floods, Pink Doctors. Hmm. Diba? Ulit-ulit lang tayo yun. Same artist, Jim Blossoms, Green Day, Huti and the Blowfish, Jars of Clay, Lemonheads. That's all I got, really. There's not much. You know, most of my stuff is CDs, you know, so... Back in the day, pag yung mga napagustong mga kanta, like <coughs> Boys to Men or, you know, yung mga OPM, you know, ang OPM ko lang na si, uh, cassette tape, I remember was, I had Side A and South Border, pero I don't know what happened to it. Got lost somewhere. Yan, nare-rewind ko. Alright guys, well, hey, you know, you kind of running out of words to say, so this is pretty much, you know, I'm doing it uh, candid, you know, basta, yun, cassette tapes, that's uh, for today, uh, next time, CDs naman, pero hindi ko na i-run yung mga collection ko, basta, okay, you guys, salamat sa pag- Panood nyo sa video na ito. I hope you guys enjoy it. Uh, post your comments. Uh, you know, what do you guys have? What do you guys think about cassettes? Should it have a comeback? Or rest in peace cassette tapes? And I know, I remember one, uh, my, my sister's uncle, he has a whole room of cassette tapes. I was, I was like... Amazed, you know, like wow, daming cassette tapes niya, daming collection niya, you know. So, I don't really have that many cassette tapes, anyways. You know, I have more CDs, and if I have the time and money, I would collect vinyl records because I think they're cool. All right, thanks, thank you guys for watching. This is uh, DS, Kuya Dindo, okay? All right. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe new. Okay? Bye. Hey, it's me again. I know I already ended the video a while ago. So this is, uh, you know, I, I continued the video from the, the one that you guys were watching. This is just, you know, I just pieced them together. So back on the cassette tape. This is Third Eye Blind. Okay? They have a lot of hits on this cassettes. They had Losing a Whole Year, Semi Charm Kind of Life, Jumper, uh, London, so pretty much almost every song, you know. Uh, the reason why I, I pull this cassette because I want to talk more about it. So, side one, two, A or B, and each track, each side has like two, four, six, seven, six to seven or five, depends on the, on the song. And then this is the unique thing about CDs and cassettes, you know, like. So you have the album cover and then inside they have the picture of the band and most import importantly they have lyrics so that's you're able to sing along with the song you know um, the only uh, drawback with cassettes is that their sound quality is not as good as CDs and unless you have those uh stereo systems with equalizers like that yung mga magagandang uh stereo systems na may mga equalizer na pwede mo i-tweak you know and then they have better speakers you know so the boom box that i showed you earlier they're not really that great uh, medium for to play the music for cassettes kasi ano sila eh, hindi siya it's not that great you know unless you have a top of the line uh, cassette player or boom box you know 
they don't translate well when you play the cassette tapes unless you had the stereo system like the super expensive stereo system those are also relics now they're antiques you can't if you find one they're probably super expensive you know so right so that's it you know hey click like and subscribe to my video if you enjoy watching this video in this memory lane cassette tapes talking about cassette tapes you know you'll be surprised some if you have cassette tape you know your uncle your your mom or your dad you have cassette tapes you know hiding around and they might word of for it might you know there might be a word of fortune so don't make fun of cassette tapes click like and subscribe thank you for watching my video i'll see you on the next video i don't know what's gonna be it's probably about food and whatnot or cds or something all right guys thank you for watching peace